So in this video, I've got a great technique showing how you can quickly and easily add or enhance sunlight in your pictures. You could also record it as an action to add it in even faster. Okay, so with a suitable image open up in Photoshop, I'm gonna to come to the bottom of the layers panel and click on this little icon here, which is to add a new fill or adjustment layer. When I click on that, we get this menu, and right at the top, we have one here called Gradient. Now that's actually Gradient Fill, so we'll click on that, and here we can see the properties. Now, first thing we need to do is to go to the Style section just here, and change it from Linear to Radial. And when we do that, you can see now we've got a Radial Gradient, with the brightest part in the center, and it kind of fades off as you go out towards the outside edges. And we can click down and drag and move this around like so. Then we need to come into the gradient section, and this is where we're going to add in the three parts of our sunlight. We have the center, the inner ring, and the outer ring. So I'm gonna click directly on this gradient to bring up the gradient editor. Now what we need to do is to make sure that we are using a foreground color to transparent gradient. Now you should see that at the very bottom where you can see the gradient with the color over on the left hand side, the solid white color or whatever color you happen to have at the moment to your foreground. And then all the way across here, it eventually becomes transparent where you can see these gray and white transparent squares. Now if you don't have that, go to the basics preset at the top and then choose the center option in the middle here, foreground to transparent. So the first thing we need to do then is to add the color for the center of our sun, which is obviously incredibly bright, but rather than being pure white, it does have a little bit of color in it. So underneath the gradient on the far left hand, underneath we have this little square icon, and this is called a color stop. Now if I click on that, it then opens up the color swatch. And when I click on that, it then opens up the color picker. Now in here, the first thing I'll do is go to the hue slider, and I'm gonna drag this up to go into the uh, yellow kind of area just here. And then we're gonna come into the saturation and brightness section. Now the way this works is, once I've chosen my color, I can then come into this area and drag down or up to increase or decrease the brightness, or I can go left and right to increase or decrease the saturation of the color. Now I'm gonna put this right at the very top, but I'm not gonna go all the way to the left to make it pure white. I'm actually gonna bring it in to the right just to add a little bit of that color in. And you can see here the color that I've chosen where it says new. I'll then click OK. The next thing I do is add the color for the inner ring. So I come down to the gradient, and if I put my cursor just underneath it, it changes to this hand icon. I'll then click, and that will then give me another color stop. I then go to the color swatch, click on it to open up the color picker, and this time I drag the hue slider downwards to add a warmer orange kind of color for the next part. Come down to around about here will be good. I'll then go to the saturation and brightness section, click on it and drag it over to the right to increase the saturation, which actually allows more of that warmth to show through. And you can see that now as we do this in real time over in the picture just here. We'll click OK on that one. We now need to add the third and final part of the sun which is the outer ring, so I'll come again down to that gradient, put my cursor just underneath it until it changes to become a hand icon, click down to add another color stop, click again on the color swatch, this time come back to the hue slider, drag it down something a lot warmer, so we'll go for around about there, get the uh, brightness and we'll increase the saturation so that intensifies the color, and you can see now over in real time we're really starting to get that look, look that we want. If I just click OK, what we have now is these three circles. We've got the center, the inner ring, and the outer ring. And those are represented now by the position of these three color stops. And what I can actually do is click on each of these color stops and drag them out to the right or into the left to increase or decrease the size of that particular part. And you can see, again, in real time as I do that, if you keep an eye on our radial gradient over here in the picture, how that's actually affecting it. So I'm gonna increase the size more of the outer ring, and we'll make that inner ring just a little bit bigger as well, and play around with it just about there. In fact, yeah, I'm quite liking that. Now we'll click OK. Now unlike before, when I would now bring my cursor, and you can see that I can't click and drag and move that radial gradient around. So what I need to do 
is first of all click OK and then come over to the Layers panel and double click on the thumbnail for the gradient fill. So I'll double click on that, then I can bring my cursor in and click and drag and move this around. So I'll put that into position just over here on the brightest part of the picture, which is where the sun would be. Now if we dive into the gradient fill properties, we also have a scale slider. And if I open that up and drag this little marker over to the right, we can really increase how far out that sunlight will spread. But at the moment, it's not looking particularly believable. So if I click OK, the next part is where the magic really happens. Because all we need to do is change the blend mode of this gradient fill from normal to overlay. Now you can see when I do the before and after, the effect of that. And what I love about this is how we're even getting that warm glow reflected light coming onto the foliage and also onto the actual surface of the water, as you can see, before and after. Again, another great thing about this technique is the fact that it is completely non-destructive, meaning that we can always double click on the thumbnail to bring open the properties. And we can come in later on and change the scale, make it more or less if we want to. We could even click on the gradient itself, change the position of these stops, these color stops to um, kind of control how big each of those parts of the sun are. We could even click on them to then change the color that we originally assigned them. So incredibly flexible. Great that it's non-destructive, and when used in the right picture, very, very believable. But one really good thing about this is the fact that we can actually record this as an action, as I've done now, and just apply it to our pictures really quickly. So I've got a picture open. I'm going to go to my Actions panel. Here is my action where I've recorded every step. I'll just click on Play. There it's applied the sun. I just double-click on the actual thumbnail in the Layers panel, to bring up the gradient fill properties, which then allows me to reposition where I want the sun to be. So I'll put it just over there, and then I can just dive in as before, use this scale slider to control how much I want that sun to spill out into our picture to give it the look that I actually want. Nice and simple, really quick. So there you go, quick and easy. Now if you do use this technique on your own images and you share them online, please do post a link in the comment section below. I'd love to see them. But in the meantime, that's it. We're done. I'll catch you next time.